first off, we're going to go ahead and talk about this eye. Does anyone else have one bad eye? This is the eye that causes me to wear glasses. They're cute glasses. Little cat's eye, purple, got a little bling in the corner. I never know where they are. Just like I never know where the purple and pinkish color pair are. No clue whatsoever. There's supposed to be one pair on my desk, one pair in my purse, but whatever. So anyway, excuse this wonky eye. I barely have any makeup on today because I just, there's no point in putting eye makeup on when this one eye keeps watering. I might actually be allergic to my dog because um, he snuck into my bed last night and now my eyes are like really, well, just this eye is all. So maybe it's not the dog's fault. Sorry, Dozer. It's not your fault. Uh, anyway, so... Today's video is going to be basically my five favorite purchases from Amazon this uh, this year. So 2020 edition, you know, self-care is very important. So you're going to notice a trend here. Um, yeah, just stuff that I think that I actually need as opposed to stuff that I want. Even though one of them is technically a want, I have justified it somehow into being a need. So, without further ado, let's start talking about purchases. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is skincare. And I don't mean facial skincare. I'm talking about the rest of your body, which you can't see right now because, well, I'm in a robe in my PJs and... We're trying to keep it a little bit decent. <laughs> anyway, I loved this sample of the Hemp's hand lotion that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. So I decided to check and lo and behold, it was available on Amazon in two awesome scents. There we go. This is the one that came in my Ipsy. This is the one that was recommended by another YouTuber who was like completely enthralled by the scent. And I have to admit, this one does smell phenomenal. Like it really does smell like I'm going to a tropical island and never coming back. Oh my God, yeah, like that. And I love sweet smells, and a lot of my perfumes are sweet smelling or floral, um, like a gourmand type of sweet, you know? So it's either like sweet floral or gourmand. And, oh, I should probably tell you about, no, I'm going to focus. Oh, but I really want to tell you. I profess. Ah. Today's perfume is... Black Opium Floral Shock. Don't look at my lack of a manicure. We in the pandemic, yo. Anyway, Black Opium is nice and all, but I love Black Opium Floral Shock specifically. I'll probably do a video about my favorite spinoff perfumes. I've been thinking about it for a while, so that'll probably be next. All right, so back to this lotion. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Issues. So yeah, this lotion, it is made with like no mineral oil, no propylene glycol. It's gluten free, paraben. Why does your lotion need to be gluten free? It doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. It's gluten-free and paraben-free, and it has a fast-absorbing formula. Da, da 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 And it's got hemp seed oil, hence the name Hemp's. <laughs> um, this one is Exotic Green Tea and Asian Pear, which you probably read when I held it up to the screen like this. <gasps> but just in case you didn't, I've told you. This one is Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. Now, I don't know why this one says Body and Mind 
that ring light might be a little too strong. I don't know why this one says body and mind and this one says hydrate and refresh because they're both pretty damn hydrating. I mean, it's wonderful. And my son has, um, has eczema pretty bad in a couple of little patches and this has really been helping, um, along with getting an 11 year old boy to shower. Yeah, this smells good. But this is definitely the one that I let him use more often because it, you know, he doesn't care what the lotion smells like. He doesn't even want to use the lotion. So I figure why not keep the one that has the smell I love for myself. And you can call that selfish if you want, but I call that not wasting my money. Both of these lotions were around 10 bucks. Maybe 11, I'm not 100% sure because, well, I just clicked buy it now because I really wanted it and we needed lotion. We get ashy. It's a thing. Melanated people say, what? All right, so that is it for the awesome lotion. God, this smells good. Now, like I said, the other one does smell good, but this one. This is that magic scent, yellow, yellow goodness, sweet pineapple and honey melon. Yeah, like this one, oh my God, everything is related to my perfume selections. I could totally wear this one whenever I'm wearing my Clean Reserve Rain. That perfume would be perfect with this. Yeah, hands down, that's the perfect combination. Trust me, I know things. And this one really is just, whoops, that's backwards. <laughs> I'm not making a blooper reel. This one is hands down perfect for all of my sweet smelling floral goodness perfumes. And now it gets light. Ooh, focus on me, camera. There we go. My next favorite uh, Amazon purchase of the year is this yoga mat by Gaiam. I don't know if it's Gaiam International or if it's just Gaiam. That's a good question. I'll have to look it up. And honestly, I'm going to have to insert a picture right over here. Yeah, that picture is going to be of the whole mat. Because I'm using my 50 millimeter lens and I don't feel like moving up my setup. I mean, I'm sitting in this spot and that's just the way it's going to be. So, um, this is the yoga mat. It is nice. It's a great thickness. I think it's like a quarter inch thickness. And I don't feel too much stress on my knees or anything. Um, I had a knee injury a couple years ago that's still not like a hundred percent. Um, so I do notice it when I'm doing stuff on my knees and when I'm doing single legged moves, like if I'm doing half moon or airplane on my left leg, it feels not the best, but, um, it has good grip. I really don't find myself slipping around like I have before on like a cheaper mat. So this was not super expensive. Because I know yoga mats that are like, <laughs> so this one was only like 20 or 25 bucks at, if anything, it might have been $15 or something, but nine times out of 10, it was 20, 25 bucks. But this is the thickness of it. See that? That's the thickness. This is the texture. Of course, this is what the underside of it looks like. It does a good job. And it's got like this cool peacockish type of design. That makes me feel super, super happy when I'm using it. This is the one that I practice with at home. I have another Gaiam International or just, I don't know if it's Gaiam International or if it's Gaiam. I don't even know where I'm getting the international from because it only says Gaiam on the mat. So 
Y'all are just going to have to deal with my odd memory. But, um, yeah, this is the one that I practice with at home. And I have this awesome purple one that I practice with at work when we have our Wellness Wednesdays or group yoga. So that's pretty nifty. Another purchase from Amazon that I love that doesn't really count for this video is just my Amazon Prime membership because you get all the videos and it's not just movies. There's informational things also. And there are a ton of yoga videos for people all levels. Like if you're not ready for the advanced stuff yet, there's even like chair yoga that they have on Amazon. So I love my Prime membership for the simple fact that if I don't, especially now with the pandemic, but if I don't want to be in a Zoom lesson, y'all are going to stop hating on Zoom also. It's a conspiracy. They're trying to drive their stock down and people don't like how big Zoom has gotten. It's a whole thing. I will ramble on about that later. Maybe a get ready with me video or something. But bottom line is, quit hating on Zoom. <sighs> okay. Back to the yoga mat. Or, no, I was talking about yoga classes. Whatever. So, Amazon Prime, yoga videos. All kinds of workout videos. All kinds of levels. That doesn't count for this video. Number two is this mat. And I'm not doing this in any particular order because I all love them equally. Just like a mother with multiple children. Team one and done. One and done. One and done. One and done. Okay, that's enough of that. On to the next thing. Hi. It's very important to exfoliate. Your skin deserves a polished, clean, fresh feeling. Treat your skin right. This right here, Bella and Bear, it is not focusing. All right. Next on the list is this cute little clutch. 100% vegan leather goodness. All kinds of awesome study study magnificence. It reminds me of old school Abby. I needed it. It was like 20 bucks. I'm horrible with remembering the prices of things. Just know that I'm thrifty by nature. I make sure it's not like... Okay, well, usually I make sure that it's not like ridiculously expensive just because. But <laughs> I have some things that are kind of, you know, special. Anyway, um, as I was saying, super duper cute. Makes me happy. It is actually two sections. See that? It's got two sections there. Boo, boo, doo, boo. And now the one thing I can say, the reason the hardware here is gunmetal, gunmetal gray or silver, gunmetal silver. And this silver and black strap here is actually from a different purse. Um, this particular purse, the strap that comes with it is a little bit wider. The only thing is I'm six feet tall with a pretty long torso as expected. And I like my crossbody bags to hang longer. Um, so I can use the wrist strap that came with this. Um, <laughs> I can use the wrist strap that came with it and cover up my face so that it stops focusing on me. I can use that wrist strap. It is gunmetal right there if I want to use it as a clutch. Um, and this is about how thick the strap is for cross, like the crossbody strap. And they're both pretty sturdy. Uh, I just put that strap on the purse that I took this one off of. And yeah, it is a little thin for a bag this size because the bag it came off of is just like a wallet with a strap. But um, 
It does pretty well, actually. And the stitching is, like, surprisingly good. It's always hit or miss on Amazon. You know that you're not spending a lot of money on it because it might not last that long. But honestly, I'm really surprised. Um, I don't really care if you see what's in my bag. I have a Legend of Zelda face mask made by my friend Asia. She owns a store on Etsy called Memory Tokens. Um, I got this one. Because as soon as I saw she had Zelda up there, I was like, oh my god, nerd power, I need it. Look, it's the Legend of Zelda face mask. Boop, 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 boo. Oh. Wait, wait, cover your nose or you're not using it right. Boop, boop. Sexy ninja style quarantine actor. All right, I don't need to make a, like, a song about it. I make a song about everything, but we've already gone over that, huh? All right, so anyway, it has this lining inside. Yay, lining. Woohoo. And then there's this part that's also vegan leather, a.k.a. pleather, but I just like to call it vegan leather because, well... All the cool kids are doing it. And then we've got more lining. We've got some hand sanitizer, a pen that's four different colors, a good old fashioned tampon, <laughs> a whole lot of change. We've got an astronaut pen. We've got a battery for my Canon M50. That's actually, oops, I'm gonna put that right there. We have a USB drive because you never know when you need to steal some data. And we've got a USB cord, micro USB cable, a banging lip gloss. We're going to put some of that on right now. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> yep. I'm stuck with it now. No, no. Yeah, I'm stuck with it now. Whatever. Anyway, my point is this bag holds a lot more than I expected. Like the perfume of the day fits in there. It's in there and it only comes up to like right here. Yeah, that's the top of it. Perfume goes there. Cell phone number one, cell phone number two. I don't put more than two heavy things in there at a time, though, just to be safe, you know, since I switched the strap out. Anyway, great bag, like 20 bucks, makes me super happy. Happy, 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 happy. And that counts as self-care. My number five favorite thing that I've bought on Amazon in 2020 so far. This little battery charger. See that goodness? It's by Power Extra and it is a double battery charger for the Canon M50. Was only like 25 bucks. And yeah, what I like about it is that when you plug it in and you've got the batteries charging, there's this little indicator here for battery one and battery two. And it, instead of just being green for ready, yellow for charging, red for dead or whatever, it actually shows the level that the battery is at. So it's like do, 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 down, do, 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 down, do, 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 down, do, 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 down, do, 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 down. Okay, that's enough. Stop making things songs. But anyway, it came with two batteries and the charger, and it was like 25 bucks. Came with an extra USB charger, but it also has the USB built in. So you can just plug that into your laptop or any like phone charger or something that you might have. Um, and then the other input for the longer USB cable is right there. Um, 
I mean, it's a battery charger. There's not much to say about it. But what I love is, one, the price point. Two, the fact that it came with two batteries. Three, the fact that it shows the actual level of the batteries. And four, the fact that it stands up like this instead of the batteries going like that. Don't ask me why. It's not really something that makes that much sense. I just think it looks cool that they go up like that. I don't, I'm weird. I like that. I, I like the little things. It really doesn't take that much to like make me go, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the one thing that I do think, I have to check the actual power of the batteries. But I want to say these batteries feel like they last longer than the actual Canon battery. Um, the actual Canon battery is what's in my camera right now. Oh, crap. Honorable mention, I have a dummy thingamajigger. It's a dummy battery and then an adapter so that I could be recording with the camera plugged right in to the wall, which would never die. It would never do the auto shut off thing. Um, it would just keep going, but I mean, I forgot to grab it. So whatever it's downstairs. That thing's awesome too. I'll call it an honorable mention, but yeah, so I just marked each battery like number one and number two so that I won't mix them up, but who cares? I mean, people manage their multiple battery situations, however the hell they want. Um, now that might be it for what my favorite things are. Ooh, don't ask why I'm doing this. My honorable mention is this wig. <laughs> it is another Joe Deere wig. Doot, doot, that's the roots, whatever. I didn't do a damn thing to this wig except for cut the lace off, and I feel like that works for me. Um, I have officially worn this wig for a week, so I can give it the uh, check-in. Things to know about me. One, I don't really take good care of my wigs. I mean, I brush them a little. I have wig spray, and I almost never use it. Um... Yeah, I kind of just put them on like I'm throwing on a hat. <laughs> so how I handle this wig is kind of rough. So I think the current condition of it, knowing how I treat wigs, is actually pretty good. So I posted a video on my Instagram, Shahana style. <laughs> I posted a video about it. Or did I? I think I did, whatever, um, talking about how it flowed and all that. But you see how it's got like a little tangle action now? It's been a week and I'll probably be wearing a different wig next week and I'll probably revitalize this one just like I revitalized the last one by, you know, I won't say boiling it, but I wash it in super hot water with like this much fabric softener. I've learned my lesson before I used way too much and I walked around smelling like downy. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that. But so far, I'm, I'm happy with the way that it still looks. The shine is not super duper fake. It looks like, you know, I styled my hair and put some shine to it. You know, it's not ridiculous. The ends, however, and this is 100% my fault. I can't even, I don't even think I could blame the wig, or maybe it's just like a synthetic wig thing, but I definitely did this to the ends. You see what I did to the ends? How frizzy I made them? Like, that's all my fault. I brushed it in this one section without using the wig spray first. 
and I did not use the right brush. I used my uh, detangling brush instead of my wig brush. And the difference is that the wig brush has these metal teeth that are straight and they're spaced out, but still pretty full on the brush. Whereas the detangling brush, there are like a gazillion more of those little plastic teeth so that they can go through every strand. And I think that's why it looks like that on the ends. Because if you look here where I use the wig brush, the curls are still there, you know? Like, I used the wig brush on this part. Like, I did brush this, the, you know. So anyway, even if I, like, decided, whoa, don't bust your butt. Even if I decided to cut the frizz part off, it's a 30-inch wig. I'm super tall. I could cut this off, and it'll still come down past my bust. So, I mean... I still get to have a fun wig. I still get to have a fun wig. Why am I singing songs? Because I'm sleepy. I need more coffee. I need to get that Bustello out of my purse, put it in a cup. Yeah, that would, no, no, that would not be smart. That's why I can't sleep. That's not self care. Caring for yourself means doing your best to get a good night's sleep, drinking plenty of water, and making sure you moisturize. Oh, yo, I did some banging skincare this morning. My stuff feels so good. Oh my God. Like, I don't have makeup on right now, except for my eyebrows, my eyelashes. I use some mascara. This side, Pretty sure I've rubbed off all the mascara. It gone. It is gone. And lipstick. And then for some idiotic reason, I decided to put that lip gloss on top. But the point is, my skin feels so soft. Do you feel that? It's like a baby's tuchus. So soft. <laughs> I'm going to stop with this video now. Yeah, gonna just knock it off already. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Do all the things that Instagrammers tell you to do because you want to be one of a one of.